Yeah, and that's right. I'm joined by Jeff Olsmer right now. Jeff, I mean, numbers are still coming in. You've had a big day, oh, of course, over at the polls. I heard you were at Digman's earlier, and you had this great party going on behind you. I mean, talk to me. How are you feeling? I feel great. I'm blessed to be here. I'm, uh, I thank God for this opportunity. I thank my volunteers for all the hard work, and most importantly, my wife and family for putting up with me for this process. Sure. You know, say you are elected, right, and you are able to get in and serve out the rest of Joe Adams' term. What's that number one priority that you want to tackle as you go into these next few months? So that number one uh, priority will be uh, serving the people of the 139th, number one. Number two, working on the, the ideals and the issues that I discussed in my campaign, and that would be trying to reduce taxes for the hardworking women and uh, people on fixed incomes in in the 139th. Also trying to reduce regulations on small businesses and ensuring our first responders have the resources they need to keep the people of the 139th safe. Sure. And Jeff, you know, just want to add in quickly, depending on whoever wins, whoever loses tonight, you still are on the ballot for the primary, which will lead you into the general in the next couple of months. Talk to me about the momentum there as well. Yeah, so I, I think it's huge that we're able to win this special if, if that holds up and, and continue through. I'm planning on working hard. I'm using the same uh, process that we use through this uh, campaign in the primary. Keep my head down. Um, knock on a lot of doors, meet a lot of people, and uh, and work hard. Well, Jeff, thank you so much. We appreciate thank you it very much. Appreciate Live tonight in Holly, I'm Jake Sarwar, Fox 56 News, first at 10.